Oh, my son, he went to heaven, and he is there with his elder brother. And so they're having a good old time right about now, you know, with God. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you guys for listening. And in this episode, we are going back to Tennessee on the murder case of Mr. David White, who was found unalive in his tractor trailer on Monday at the Love's Truck Stop in Nashville, Tennessee. Unfortunately, at this time, the investigation is still ongoing and the police at this point have not made no arrests or have any other information to offer us as far as what's going on or what may have led up to this young man's devised. The moms, though, the moms, she need answers. She has a lot of questions, as I'm sure as all of us do. She wants to know who took her son from her. She wants to know what led up to it. Why? What happened? Do anybody out there have any information? Do anybody out there have any videos? Did anybody see anything funny? Anybody. She, she just needs some answers to what happened to one of her sons. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. David White is preceded by his older brother who gave his life to save his. And now the moms just want to know what happened to her son. Rosemary White told WITN this morning that she is heartbroken by her son's death. She said, and I quote, he's an awesome son. He's a loving son. He loved his mom. He wanted to do for his mother. He said, mom, I want to get you a new car for your birthday. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen because someone decided to break into his truck and just snatched him away from her. And she says it hurts. It hurts bad. White says David was one of seven children. She said his older brother drowned at the age of 12 trying to save David's life after he fell into a river some 27 years ago. The family hopes to be able to bring the body back to Kingston, where they have set up a GoFundMe to help with the expenses. Of course, you guys know that David White has worked for KA Logistics, an Indiana-based trucking company, which we have reached out to them to get comment about the young man. And you can check that conversation in the description below. It's unfortunate that that happened to that young man. Drivers, I'm gonna need you guys to be vigilant in the areas where y'all park at. You gotta keep your head on a swivel at all time. You gotta watch your front, back, side to side. You gotta be careful who you come in contact with. Drivers, I know you like to indulge out there, so you definitely gotta be careful who you bring in your truck. Not to say that that had happened to this young man. W-I-T-N, as I said before, reached out to the mother. Courtney Dave, David White was only 37. He was last seen alive on Sunday. His employers noticed he went missing, so they called the police who found his body. She said, um, they found your son. He was in the truck. He had been shot and he is deceased. It's a call no mother ever wants to get. I think uh, they feel like the motive was robbery because of the situation, the area and everything. Rosemary is looking back on her time with her son fondly. He said, I, I, I want to get you a new car for your birthday. And, uh, but he's not here now. I had to call my daughters. I had to call my sons and give them the heartbreaking news. David's older brother Christian White drowned 27 years ago while helping David get out of the water. He decided he's going to get in the water 
and it was his brother Christian McDonald White that ended up jumping in the water to save his life. My son, he went to heaven and he is there with his elder brother and so they're having a good old time right about now, you know, with God. Shout out to them. Drivers, I want to say rest in peace to David White and our condolences from the Lockout Men podcast goes out to the family of David White as well as his mother. Hopefully, she can definitely get the answers that she requires to what happened to her son.